I began my rider career when I was eight years old and I started because my sister was uh, two years older than me and she was getting her next pony. She was too big for the first one and that's how I, uh, how I start. When I was 18 years old, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it professionally. So my parents sent me to a um, former European champion and chef de keeper of Holland by the time, Johan Heinz. And there I could find out in a professional setting if, if I wanted to keep going as a professional. My first trainer, I think, was my, my father. The thing that he teached me was that we, you never have to be satisfied. Um, even when I was uh, on pony competitions and we, I rode four classes in a weekend and I won three of them, he was not very happy. He was really pushing me to the limit and to the next level. Overriding the first Oxfam, pushing the front rail out and he drops to third at the moment. Oh, wow. <laughs> It speaks for itself. Uh, I think if we're looking to new prospects or like to for new horses, most people always look to the abilities. How careful is a horse? How much scope does a horse have? But I think it's also more important even to test if a horse is coachable, if he really wants to become better. If the horse is tough for himself, like if he wants to do everything for top sport. Before I go competition uh, with my horses, I train at home mostly on the flat. I also will jump some small jumps just to check if I have enough control and if the horse is obedient to what I ask from him and that's the way to communicate. I think it's very important for young people also that they have a program that is repeatable and recognizable as well for the horse as for the rider because then you get consistency in your results. If you're all the time changing things and do things different, uh, your results will be more up and down. The most difficulty if you go to competitions is to find the right balance for your horse to get him in the right focus. Always the question, did I do enough? Didn't I do too much? And that's always hard to get the horse at the moment it has to happen, his performance in the ring, to have him in the right focus. I think my first biggest success was my first three-star Grand Prix win in Serbia, in Italy. I was beginning of my 20s and that was actually the first time when I realized myself, maybe I'm good enough to become a professional show jumper. That will always stay in my mind. There are so many good shows at the moment and so many five stars with super high level. But for me, shows like Roma, Ake, Calgary, they are really outstanding. Um, but you need a special horse for those events. Otherwise, they can also be a real headache. <laughs> But those shows that are authentic, they have history, and that's what I like. With maybe a tight time, but Smolens is also clear. Drew just inside the time allow. We have got 11. I think for young riders, uh, if, if I would suggest something to develop them as a rider, I would suggest that they also would teach other people on a lower level. Because if you teach other people, you get more and more aware of how you're solving your own problems. And that's what makes you at the end a, a better and a complete rider. I like riders who communicate and ride very light. So the communication with the horse, if, if you cannot see what this rider is doing, in his communication, that it is so light and so that it looks effortless. That's what I like to see. Which horse I would like to compete at the moment, it's my own horse, Monaco. I think he is at the moment one of the best horses in the world. Also because of his personality, he's very athletic 
every time he's stepping up and I'm still surprised how good he became. With only two lines left to jump, Harry Small is now on Monaco for fixed 36.74 seconds. Here comes the Dutchman, here comes the Dutchman, here is the win for Marlin Meyer Johnson. What emotions do I feel when I'm riding? That's a, that's a, that's a tough question. Um, for me in my career, I'm, it's hard to force myself to be focused when it's not very, very important. I'm very, very calm, so I really need to be, the show must be very, very important to get me in the right focus. I'm always, if you see it in a parable, I'm probably always a little bit too low. Uh, most people are a little bit, have too much tension and you need to calm them down. But by me, I need to force myself to be on the job. You could even ride for the three. Oh. Oh, wow. It speaks for itself. When you work rounds like that, there is not much more for either of us to say. When I would meet myself 10 years ago, I think I would suggest to make the same decisions uh, because at the moment where I am today, I'm a very, very happy person. Uh, I'm living my life. Uh, I do my passion. I have a fantastic family. And I think, yeah, that, that's... It's, uh, it, it brought me more than I would ever have dreamed of, uh, the show jumping. So I'm, I'm a very happy person.